Don't cry anymore. 
Wait a minute, wait a minute. 
sing that old Rainbow Road? On weekends, yeah. It's so sweet and tender. My petals fall apart. Thanks for bringing me, Charles. I want you to get your coat. I want to drive you someplace for drinking. I want us to dance a while. And I want us to get to know each other a lot better. You want a lot, don't you? Yeah, I do, baby. Well, <laughs> people in hell want ice water. That don't mean they get it. When you were my age? Oh, I don't know. Huh? Oh. Were they my <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> <laughs> when I was in high school and had a better shape, there was this boy named Teddy Willow. Had gray eyes, he did, with cold black eyelashes. This is way before I met your daddy. <laughs> Mean rotten hell. Don't speak like that about you, daddy. Anyway, at lunch, we'd all go into the cloakroom to get our dinner from. And every day, this Teddy Willow used to brush his front up against me when I was Ooh, bent over getting my... Now, that's the truth. Now, wait a minute. There's more. One day, I took my ink pen with me, and that thing had a real sharp point. <laughs> well, I never even looked at him the rest of the day. But my hand to God, there was egg salad sandwich all over that cloak. And that boy walked funny for a week. <laughs> $25. I did real good, I think. That's nice. I sang San Antonio Road. Oh. I've been gone all evening, Gerald. Don't you want to talk to me? When you say, kiss my ass, don't say. Sorry, honey. How'd it go tonight? You already asked me that. Ask me something else. Come on, let's have a conversation. Notice anything different? That's the rig. Patsy, why are you always pushing at me so hard? I don't know. Just hoping for a fight or a laugh or something. I don't want to fight with you. I'm not mad. I can't stand it. Makes me want to scream and claw my face. What am I going to do? You didn't ask me how to get into this marriage. I don't think you ought to ask me how to get out of it. He mean to you? No. Did you drink? Gamble? Did you chase the women? 
Well, then what? Come on, girl, speak the truth and shame the devil. God is my witness, Mama. I don't know. I laid in bed last night and I thought, shit, what if I was blind or didn't have my legs or something? What's that mouth? <sighs> I'm home. I'm starving. Well, there's lunch meat in there, but don't spoil your dinner and say hello to your sister before you worry about your belly. Oh, I don't know, Mama. I mean, my life ain't so bad. I got a decent house, a man who loves me. Hell, I've even sung on television four times. So tell me, why do I have to force myself to get out of bed every morning of my life? Well, you always work hard to keep satisfied, even when you're thrilled. Well, I'm not talking about when I was three. I'm asking you what I should do now. Oh, maybe you should scream and claw your face. See if that helps. Hmm. Look, I came over here to explain. Oh, to away. apologize to you for messing you up a while ago. I was just enjoying your singing so much. Now that I get a good look at Patsy Klein, she don't look so hot to me anyway. And I don't care if you have sung on some half-assed television program. You don't sing that good. You ever listen to a Kitty Wells record real close? You go home and slit your goddamn throat. <laughs> Seven. Last week at the high 
that true? You said you wanted to buy me a drink. I want a 77. Yes, 77. <laughs> well, you got the advantage on me. You know my name, but I don't know yours. Charlie. Charlie Dick. Dick? Charlie Dick? That's right. Well, so what do you want out of me, Charlie? I mean, I figure you didn't follow me out to Rainbow Road because you're a fool for music. No, no. I want to get to know you better. Okay. Now, what does that mean? It means I want to get to know you better. <laughs> See, I figure when you say you want to get to know me better, what you really mean on a 10-minute screw in the back seat of your car. You must think that thing you got between your legs is lined with gold. I can get tail any time I want. I don't have to come crawling after some mean-mouthed woman got a cob crossway. <laughs> Hell, if I just want to bump uglies with somebody, I got plenty of places to go for that. Bump uglies? That's right. <laughs> My lord, Charlie, what a charming expression. We bump up a little My daddy dumped me when I was about 16. I haven't seen him since. But Mom and I did okay. She couldn't work too much, so I worked pretty steady since I've been about 16. You made a living for the whole family? No, I mean, Mama sold for people. So, yeah, basically, I guess I did. <laughs> Listen, I want to ask you something. Hmm. You know all those things you said you wanted? Answer me real quick, what you want most? All of it. I want it all. <laughs> and I want to make it right. I do. I mean, since I've been about 11 or 12 years old, I've had my life mapped out. I've been pushed too hard these last four or five years, so I'm going to start next year. I'm going to start next year, too. Bye, guys. <laughs> That's the time to start for me. I'm serious. <laughs> I'm going to be a singer. I'm going to make some money. Have some kids, and then I'm going to stop singing and raise those kids right. Have a big house with yellow roses all around it. You think that's silly? No. You know, I figure maybe somebody ought to be happy with hell. Might as well be me, right? Right. <laughs> right. Well, I never met a woman like you. I ain't talked to you. You know what that means to me? Real pretty song there on nighttime. See? We're all you night out. And right now? I don't know. We've got Mr. Stan Cook, one of my favorites. Hope you like yours. Let's go dancing.
don't. No. <laughs> what am I doing? Whoa. No. No, I don't believe it. A man. Oh, mama, honey, baby, dumpling. Come on, honey. Be happy for me. Oh, does Daryl know? I stopped by on the way over here and told him. You know what he said? What? Well, Pat, see, if your considered opinion is that you really want a divorce, I'll not stand in your way. There's a man. You're too happy. You too. What kind of love in the mop be? I don't know, Mom. Oh, sweet Jesus, it just feels so good. Huh? <laughs> oh, my darling, you're crying. Nice day. Great day. You want to do coffee all the time? Just say, yeah, it's a nice day. Yeah, it's a nice day. <laughs> this water is cold. We used to come swimming in here clear up to November, and I'm telling you, this water's got ice cubes in it. The guy in my class, Danny Byers, says he saw an eight-foot water monster come in here with me. Now, 
how tall Oak was showing why. Oh, I'm afraid it's late. You take a swim, big dog. Go ahead. <laughs> I'll pay you. Go ahead. How much it take for you to jump in? What? I'm serious. How much? Three hundred. Sam, you really do it? You got the cash? I love it. Oh, man, I wish I had three hundred. Oh, you don't have it? No. Well, I ain't jumping in for nothing. I'll say it. Good times all the time, Sunday to Sunday. Oh. You get married? <laughs> I dare you. been doing in there. <laughs> Come here. It's kind of scary, isn't it? What do you mean? I don't know, you know, you go out and buy a new dress, stand in front of a preacher, say a few words, suddenly everything's changed. I just want it to work out, Charlie. I want everything to be right. Well, come here. What? In my wedding night. I want the word. Say the word. I love you. <laughs> Say it again. I love you, goddammit. <laughs> So nice. Look, I want this work out too. I mean, I'm sure it's all gonna dry. You need this more than me. No, oh, God bless you, mister. Big night, huh? Real big. Well, tell me, how's the honeymoon? Huh? Right? Oh, hell yeah, it was wonderful. Two days at Cut Rate Motel. It was great. Real uptown stuff. Patsy didn't like it, huh? Patsy didn't say a word. She wouldn't. I didn't like it. I didn't like it. Geez, you're in the mood. I got $12 to my name. $12 to me and me and pay this. The money ain't so bad here. It's so good. Well, what do you want? You want to be like that old fart lord? Wear a suit and run the place? Hell no. Just like something different, maybe, you know? Do something a little better. Like to get my own place, maybe. I don't care. I ain't gonna do it. I dare you asking me to go on television and lie. I am not asking you to lie. All you've got to do is say Mr. Godfrey. 
I'm Hilda Hensley. I've brought my friend Patsy Klein. I'm her talent scout. Now, that's not a lie. You are my friend. Yeah, I ain't gonna do it, so you might as well quit slapping your jaws out. <gasps> that man from the show told you that talent scouts can't be a relative. Is that why you give me that half coat of yours with a little puff sleeve? I give you that house coat because you said you liked it. Well, I won't lie on television. Oh, God damn it, Mama. I'm not asking you to lie. Just don't spill your guts is all I'm asking. Stop that dirty talk now. Oh, Mama, think of what it could mean to sing on national television. All you gotta do is just say, Mr. Godfrey, I'm Hilda Hensley. I've brought my friend and she cried on the couch. Come on, Mama. What do I have to do? Get down on my knees and oh. beg you? I will, Mama, please. Come on, help me get to be a singer, have my house with the yellow roses, please. A house with the yellow roses? I'm sick of hearing about it. What does Charlie say about all this? He thinks it's a terrific idea. Well, I ain't gonna do it. Idea, me on television. Mr. Godfrey, I'm Hilda Hensley, and I brought my friend, Patsy Klein, and I'm her talent scout. Well, good. Like well, I, I said, go. welcome. Please, please, uh, where are you from? Winchester, Virginia. Oh, that's lovely country. So, what's Patsy's talent? She sings. Does she sing any better than I do? Oh, oh, well, she's, oh, she's wonderful. She made a record. Well, why don't we bring her up? Ladies and gentlemen, Let's welcome Patsy Klein. Come on, baby! Come on, baby! I go out walking after midnight Out in the moonlight Just like we used to do I'm always walking After hey, hey, midnight hey. Searching for you I walk for my Well, that's just my way of saying I love you. I'm always walking after midnight, searching for you. you. I stop to see a weeping willow crying on his pillow. Maybe he's crying for me. You lucky bunch of people make it big. Somewhere a walking after midnight, searching 
take us all home while I'm with you, little girl. <laughs> hey, listen, boys, you don't mind if we just try to walk Come on, one more time. Thanks a lot, boys. Home, baby. Where you been? I'll oh, stop and have a drink. Five or seven. I worked my hump off making these baked chicken. You come home this late. I'll eat it. You got a finger? Hmm? Yeah. You use the goddamn thing. Put it in a telephone and dial me when you're gonna be late. Look, I said I'd eat the thing. Hey, lady, I got a message for you. Screw your baked chicken and screw you. Oh, yeah? That's the last time I'm gonna make you something nice. Oh, poor Patsy. <laughs> Dumb son of a bitch. You want your dinner? Here, why don't you eat it now? You want a plate? You want a plate? Hey, you want a plate? Hey, you want to start on a living room? <laughs> <laughs> Slip it slow and the world stays sweet. My daddy used to say that same thing. Give me my back, baby, will you please? Here's something my old man used to eat cold navy bean sandwiches for breakfast every morning of your life. I hope he rocks in hell. What do you mean? Some stuff that he wants. You tell me you try to mess with you? Huh? Oh, Charlie, I don't want to talk about that now. How come you never told me that before? How come you never said anything about your family? Well, no, not when I'm in such a good mood. Hello? Yeah, that's me. Where is it? What? Is it what out? Hey, Charlie, hush up. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Well, I got spanked because you made me late for dinner. Well, you, for the love of God, put a lid on it. I'm sorry, my husband's a little nuts. What? I got a letter from Washington. Talks on that fool Eisenhower. I want to know why I didn't vote for him. Shit me, I've been drafted. What? I'm gonna show up next week. I can't be drafted. I'm in the friggin' National Guard. Charlie, you said they never miss you at those meetings. Yeah, well, I ain't going. I'll tell you that much. I'll shoot my toe off. I'll tell him I'm a homo. I will. I ain't going. <laughs> I love you. Take care of you. Okay? <laughs> Bye, baby. Charlie! <laughs> well, now, it ain't the end of the world. Well, Court Bragg's not exactly a million miles away. You got that tour coming up. Oh, shit. Why don't you just tell me every cloud's got a silver lining? Why don't you just come on and move in with me, honey? No sense in paying rent on your place. Well, good morning. Says who? Oh, for heaven's sake, girl, set out and take some nourishment. Charlie will have his first leave in three weeks, and you walk around with your lower lip dragging the floor in front of you. 
big small baby. I'll just fix you a sugar kit. You know, you're still not too big for me to smack your jaws for you. You know that? You make that sign to me again, I'll leave the print of my hand across your face. I'll make your teeth rattle. Well, why don't you just go out and spend some money? It'll make you feel better. Too, too. Well, you just too mean to live lately. window. Yeah. No, something tough. You can't go to your grave saying you weren't ever lost. Because I'm the one half a year.
give out. I'm so tired my ass is dragging the floor behind me. I'm so tired I wish I was dead. So tired I wish I'd never been born. I'm so tired I wish my daddy had his spine cut off so he'd never even... God <laughs> almighty, will you boys let it be? Oh, my sweet baby. Rolling in my sweet baby's arms. Gonna lay around the shack till the mail train comes back. Rolling in my sweet baby's arms. Ain't gonna work on the railroad. Ain't gonna work on the farm. Gonna lay around the shack. Till the mail train comes back Rolling in my sweet baby's arms Rolling in my sweet baby's arms Rolling in my sweet baby's arms Gonna lay around the shack Till the mail train comes back Rolling in my sweet baby's arms Are you okay? Oh. oh. Darn, tell those boys I have to wait. I can't get up. Okay. I don't know why we're calling you. We never get there anyway. How about it? How are you going to live? Oh, Lord. I've been better. Let me have a sip. Out of the morning. That's what's hair on your head. Oh my God in heaven. I bet I'm pregnant. <laughs> Lord, I can't get pregnant. I mean, I just had a hit record. My husband's in the army. <laughs> How the hell am I gonna start if I'm pregnant? Oh God, you talk about your bad timing. Don't eat Come here, come here. You sure you want to? Look out. Look out. Come on, we get you. Look out. Look out. Look out. Look out. Look out. Don't sing your wine. Wow. Hi, darling. What are you doing? Having a glass of champagne with Kirk Douglas. 
What's it look like I'm doing? You want to have Donna and me sure there today, you know. Like you told me, Sergeant Wilson wanted you looking sharp. Hey, I'll tell you a secret. I don't give a good goddamn what Sergeant Wilson says. That tight-ass bastard has been on my back ever since I got here. Gotta hate this army. I hate this state. I hate this stinking little miserable apartment. Well, I've been places I like better, too. I could still be making records if I stayed home. Nobody asked you to come here. <laughs> yeah, hell, you didn't. You begged me. Yeah, well, I didn't mean it. Oh, come on, Tully, don't fuss now. I'm making chili for dinner. You like that? It'd just be nice. Oh, my. I make him chili, and I try to be nice, but my husband's just so rude and nasty. Just shut up. Oh, poor Pat. Why don't you just shut your mouth? Why don't you just try and make it? Don't push me, Charlie. I dare you. Patsy. Patsy. You know the part I remember? I remember the part when you told me over and over how you're going to protect me, keep anybody from hurting me. You remember all those times you told me that? Patsy! Wait! Patsy, I'm sorry. I'm going to open the door up. I'll bring the rest. Will you get the baby things, John? Okay, sir. I'm gonna start singing again right after the baby's born. Oh, I was hoping you'd stay home for a while. I'm gonna start singing the same wig the baby. I can make it, Mama Damon. I know I can. All I need is just one good song. One good song to put me over the top. Then when I've made enough, I can retire. Raise the baby. I just want to make it right. Well, got the part about the yellow roses. The living hell, they told me the you were... The false alarm. Gilda, why don't you put a star in your crown? We'll get old Charlie Bear. Now, kiss. Can I have a deep and kiss? Miss me? No. I didn't know it till I saw you, but yes, I did. Look at you. I got ten days leave. I got two good looking women to spend it with. You're the baby on the way. Mm -hmm. Oh, heaven! Yeah. Clothes. Charlie, for the love of God, don't you get out from under our feet. Go buy yourself a beer or something. Oh. All right, if that's what you think I should do. Yeah. Dinner's at six. 
Somebody answer the phone. Hello? Charlie. Phil, where are you? Charlie, we're at the hospital. She's had her baby. I'll be right down. No, you won't be right down. You just keep your miserable self away. She had a hard time, and she's finally asleep. She asked for you 14 times tonight, and you weren't there. Damn your soul, Charlie Dick. Where were you? You want to hold? Yeah. Yeah, you little thing. <laughs> I got her. I got you. <laughs> She's so pretty. Yeah. Get her hair. I know. It's <laughs> curling already. I think Julie's good name. Yeah. Wish to God had been with you. Yeah. Where were you? Now, I'll tell you a hundred lies, but I ain't going to. Got drunk. <laughs> That's whiskey in the degree.
Hi, baby, it's me. Hi, Charlie. Guess what? What? Found us a new apartment. It's got room for the baby, and it's still cheaper than that other one we had down here. It's got a big kitchen, too. So what do you say? Why don't you come on down? No, Charlie, I can't. I want to start singing again, and Mama helps me with chewing. Come on, baby. I really miss you. I want to see my kid. God damn, why are you so polite anymore? He ain't just talk normal. I feel like I'm talking to Eleanor Roosevelt. I gotta go, Charlie. The baby's crying. I'll talk to you, okay? Yeah, okay, if Julie's crying. I need you to look me in the face and say, you screw up a lot, but I still love you, Charlie. Always will. I told you before you left, I'm not holding any grudges. I need something from you. I need you to look me in the face and say, you screw up a lot, but I still love you, Charlie. I always will.
life is not working out. Trust me, it's not working out. I'm going down to Nashville tomorrow, Mama. See if I can do something. Aren't you Patsy Klein? Yeah. I'm Randy Hughes. Hey, I was just coming to see you. Is that right? Yeah. You know, you wrote me a letter about a year ago or so, but I had a baby since then. I haven't been doing too much singing, but you I... You don't have to tell me. I happen to think you're maybe the best country singer in the world. <laughs> Come in here, since you and I talk. I always did like a man who knew how to start off the conversation good. I swear. I can make us both a lot of money. You won't be sorry. You know why not? Why? Because when the song is right, and I feel it, I can tell from looking at people's faces that I've reached right down there inside them. You got any idea what that feels like? You want to be Kitty Wells, right? Hell no. I want to be Hank Williams. All right. Sit down. Listen to me. I got a story to tell you. I heard you sing one night in a dump in Virginia. Twelve tables, watered down drinks, dance floor the size of that coffee table. And you were good. The crowd liked you. Just ate up all that yodeling and growling stuff. And then you let go on walking the floor over you. But you did it slow, like a ballad. And I'm telling you, the hair on the back of my neck up. I mean, there I was in this dive in Virginia, and I was listening to something real special. Yeah. You get my drift? Nope. I'll make it simple. You got a voice that was made to sing love songs. And if I work with you, we take advantage of that fact. I don't want to talk about starving kids waiting for me in the car. It's too late, Patsy. It's all set up. I don't give a damn. I don't want four big male singers drowning me out. Well, they've been booked and they're going to be there at 2 o'clock. Yeah, well, if they're there, I'm not showing up. The musicians are booked. Owen Bradley's going to be there. I'm going to be there. And you can show up or not. Just suit your damn self. I will. 2 o'clock. Grab hold of Randy, my drink. They got four singers backing me up today. Big ones. They're just gonna drown me out. Hell, fell. All right, now let's have the next day. One, two. Ooh. Hello there. Tell me what I see. Mr. Bradley, the producer gone. Hello, Patsy. Hi, Mr. Bradley. What's frown for, honey? Randy's telling me you've been wearing again. Don't ever frown. You make yourself old before your time. I know, but I want to no, talk to you about something. No, everything's all right. Song's a good one. The arrangement's a good one. Mm -hmm. Backup singers are good. Even the glazed donuts are good. Everything's good. So relax and be happy and sing. <laughs> well, just make sure they hear me. Sing. sing. Hey, stuff is coming up. That's just great because we just happened to have a little girl backstage that made that famous with her number one hit record of it. We're real proud of her here at the Grand Ole Opry. Here's Miss Patsy Klein.
I like everything you sing. I mean, you just open your mouth and I fall down. But when you sing them slow ones, I just love it. You know, Randy told me it's number nine on the pop chart. I'm a crossover. Money, money, money. <laughs> I want to buy Mama a pure silk dress. Give Sylvia that graduation party she never had. I want to spend some of that money. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll help you do it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, baby. I had to crawl far away, but I made it. Ooh, that's pretty. Take that all by your lonesome? I sure did. How come you didn't bake me a cake for my birthday? Damn it, Charlie. That's not funny. I'm working on that all day. Oh, look, didn't this pie turn out nice? Mm hmm. They can dip the tapioca just like Mama does. Can't wait to see her and John and Sylvie tomorrow. Hey, Charlie. Why don't you go a little easy on that drink and tomorrow at the party? Why don't you kiss my furry butt? <laughs> well, you think I wouldn't? Come on, Charlie. Come on, Charlie. Cook some chicken. Come on. <laughs> Stop chicken, it now. Where are you kids at? This thing's gonna burn. Where are you kids at? They're upstairs in their bedroom. Good. Come on, Charlie. Oh. Oh, Lord. On the linoleum floor. My dress up around right my ears. Oh, Charlie. Hey, Red Hat. Get your Red Hat. 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 Yeah. This new toothbrush. <laughs> Don't feel you look sweet today. I just love the new hairdo. My mama put him down. He's so crabby. Oh, good night, honey. Give Grandma a pin Give mama a pin. He just kills me. I don't see him more. I know it. I wrote that book. Same with you and Charlie. Up and down. Up and down. Oh, oh. 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 Whereas when he drinks, he's got a temper. Does he hit you? Just that one time. Say, if a man hits you once, there's always another time. Hey, sis. Yeah. You got some money. I want some more beer. Ooh, I want to go with you. Can you get any better time for us? You mean to tell me you don't remember Barbara Simmons? You had a crush on her all through the fifth grade. Patsy, you're nothing but a damn lot. I don't know why, though, with all that frizzy brown hair. Well, what about you and old Homer Atkinson? Homer Atkinson? I never liked Homer Atkinson. You love Homer Oh, Atkinson. I did not. You used to call him you, up every night. You love him. They hang up when he answered. <laughs>
college the kids are sleeping. 